Welcome to the shortwave radio channel. And a question that came to mind, which is interesting. Um, you know, things you don't think about, but somebody sees it. Somebody says, hey, how come this or that? And well, in this case, how come you're using CWU or CWL? What's, you know, what's the difference? So when you tune a single uh, CW or Morse code signal on a transceiver, like this one, when you tune in CW, the frequency you see is the frequency of transmission, but the actual radio has shifted its listening so that it creates a tone. Because if you tune the Morse code signal in upper sideband or lower sideband, you're not going to be on a true frequency, you're going to be off. Why? Because that's how you're going to have a tone, you'll be able to listen to the Morse code. Notice here, if I switch to L, it's probably here, you see same tone. So when you're exactly on the frequency, it's the exact same tone. It shifts one side or the other. So what do I mean by that? You guys know about upper lower sideband? Upper sideband, you tune up from the center frequency that's written on the display. Lower sideband, you tune down from the frequency. Same thing with Morse code. Here, you tune up from 3528. Actually, we're tuning up from below 3528 to reach the tone. And if I put it in lower, same tone, but it's lower so it's actually listening down from the frequency the um, use in cw of this is to avoid interference so if because it, you know you could have a couple of morse code signals really really close ever listen to a cw contest you know what i talk about everything's crammed jammed in a very small space Maybe somebody is too close to your frequency and it's annoying you, you have a hard time copying CW. Well then, if that station is lower than the frequency, well you choose CWU so that you listen up. You'll avoid the one that's down. Same thing, if the annoying station is up from 3528 for example here, then I'll choose L for lower, I'll be tuning down and I'm going to avoid the interfering signal of CW. So that's why CWL, CWU, I got no real preference. Um, I just choose U most of the time by Abbott, probably because I choose upper sideband most of the time when I tune around utilities and stuff, but whatever you choose, uh, it's fine. Uh, depending on how you're gonna tune around to search for signals, it could be interesting to tune lower if you're going down so that you'll be going front towards the signals or if you're starting to tune upwards then changing to you whoops sorry automatic when you tune up then maybe tuning with you is better because you're going up so you're tuning up you're actually receiving getting towards the signal rather than meeting the signal before it actually is being heard I know the concept is a little abstract here, but if an example here, I'm going towards the signal, as you see here with you, but it, let's go back down. I'm gonna do the same thing with L. Notice now, it starts and it moves down and it still works, but you detect the signal after you've passed the center frequency uh, of, of the signal, the, the zero beat if you want. It's it's all a little technical, but it's it's you know little details that sometimes help you tune around to different signals. So, anyways, hope that you understand a little bit the difference now. It's mostly so you can move away up or down from. An interfering CW signal or, or any other type of signal that could be interfering with the Morse code that you're listening to. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.